Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares. And it is just about a week and a half away from the SDC San Diego Comic Con. And I have been watching a lot of videos uh, on YouTube and on the internet in general of all the people getting hyped up and ready and making their wish lists for the things that they want uh, to get that are being released as part of or at the con. Um, and I'm no exception. I have a bunch of uh, pops and figures and things that I like to get my hands on as well. Uh, with respect to comic books, I'm not 100% certain if there's many involved in it. Because when I look, uh, there's not a lot that I see out there related to the con as a comic book anymore. It seems to all be about the TV shows, the figures, the... Uh, the entertainment, the TV shows, and all of that now, um, which is not a problem. I do a lot of love all that too, but um, makes it uh, less about the comics. Anyway, I am going to let you guys know what it is that is that I am looking for, in hopes that um, maybe I might be able to get some help in finding some of these things. Because uh, I know that everybody else is also looking for some help. Because you never know where these things are going to wind up. Um, let me put it this way. Uh, I have access to a few hot topics. I have a, uh, access to a few game stops. Uh, there is a box lunch in my area. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. A few Walmarts, a few Targets. Uh, a few Walgreens, but I don't think any of these are going to wind up at Walgreens. Uh, but the reason why I'm mentioning all of this is I don't have access to places like Second and Charles and Books and Million and those type of places that these things might wind up at that are out of my reach uh, for the ones that I absolutely want to get my hands on. I'm maybe hoping that while I'm out and about hunting at my GameStops and my Toys R Us and my FYE and my uh, stores that are in my area, if I see something that is from San Diego Comic-Con but not necessarily something that I want, I may still pick it up in the hopes of maybe offering it up to trade for somebody who's more into that fandom than I am that might be able to get their hands on one of these things that I'm about to mention on my wish list. So I will be taking the 20th off of work and I am going to be heading up to the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul area, uh, getting, trying to get my hands on some of these exclusives that are going to be being released, uh, not to mention probably hitting up uh, some of the sites on uh, line uh, overnight before to see if I can get some that way as well. And I'm rambling on. Okay. I have a list of about six pops that I absolutely want to have among my favorite fandoms and shows that I like to watch, the ones that I'm going to look for, and I actually have them. I, I don't have the ability to put, I don't have the software to put boxes and pictures and inserts and things like that, but I can insert pictures into the video and go from, from video to picture to video. So I'm going to do that, and uh, what I, I'm about to do is show you uh, and I've numbered them one through six from the one I really want all the way up through number six of the ones that are my must-haves that I'm looking to get my hands on absolutely uh, on, uh, well, it'll be Thursday, isn't it? The 20th. Um, but I'm going to show that video. You can check them out and we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, number one on my list is Clara Oswald from Doctor Who. Huge Doctor Who fan. I have no idea where that pop is going to land. I have no idea what store that I'm going to need to go to. 
But if there's any place I'm going to camp out to try to get my hands on a pop, it's wherever that pop is landing. That is the if I can only have one pop from this entire San Diego Comic Con, Clara is the one I want to get my hands on. Now after that is going to be um, the X23 from Toys R Us. I'm hoping that I'm able to get my hands on that either online because I have a uh, I have a Toys R Us credit card, and I don't know if that's going to allow me to get early access to that or not, or if it will help guarantee that I can get my hands on one. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> but uh, that is what my plan is, is that will be my second stop is Toys R Us uh, to try to get that X-23. Uh, number three is going to be uh, the Leia and R2-D2 two-pack from Star Wars. Uh, one of the most iconic moments from the very first Star Wars movie uh, is embodied in that uh, those two pieces and also with the passing of uh, Carrie Fisher this last year. Uh, kind of a nice little tribute to the, that one iconic moment that she has that involves R2-D2 and the hologram. Um, I would love to get my hands on as well. Um, number, I think I have it listed as number four is... Uh, Luna Lovegood, that, that pop for Luna from Harry Potter absolutely embodies her character. Uh, it is, uh, uh, it, it, when you think of Luna Lovegood, you don't think, you know, in her uniform at school or in a plain outfit. And I know they have a lion's head one coming out, so if I can't get my hands on this Luna, that's the one I'm going to pursue. Because I, would, I want something that's kind of quirky and unique, because that's what her character is. And I'm a big Harry Potter fan as well. Then I had uh, Stranger Things Steve uh, with the Demogorgon Bat. Uh, I absolutely love that show. Looking forward to the second season. They have almost all of the uh, characters from that first run. I'm missing two. I don't have the Mike and I don't have the Lucas. And f I, I can easily pick them up. They're, they are commons. I'm just, I've am just i been waiting for them to do something um, that is an exclusive of either of those two characters because those are the only two that haven't been in some type of exclusive. Uh, and then the uh, see last one I had on there was oh Dean with Baby a uh, big huge Supernatural fan as well um, and I love that card that they have as well so they have that uh, Pop and uh, uh, Dean with Baby uh, is the uh, only ride that I was looking at trying to get my hands on from the uh, Comic Con that is my list of ones that are my must haves that are ones I want to get my hands on. Now, I also do have a list of ones that if while I'm out hunting and if I'm while I'm out uh, at, uh, you know, like I said, Target, Walmart, uh, FYE, uh, if I run into and they are available and the opportunity presents itself, because you never know what you're going to find when you're out and about and what's going to be available, what's going to have a high count, what's going to be limited. Uh, I have another uh, list of six that I would pick up if the opportunity arose and uh, pictures are going to be following right now. particular order uh, these are ones that if I run across uh, the Mr. Robot uh, Elliot Mast Robot the uh, She-Hulk the Red She-Hulk the Wonder Twins two-pack and actually it's a three-pack technically uh, and uh, the Lincoln from the TV show 100 and uh, the Tigger and the Chippendale two-pack now, if I get my hands on any of those while I'm out hunting and I see those on the shelf, I will more than likely pick them up, but I won't be out hunting specifically for them. Um, that leaves one other category. There are some items out there outside the Funko world that are available there as well that I've run across that I would love to get my hands on. And if I have an opportunity to do so, 
beyond I don't have a picture in here of the and I think it's a great item it's just two hundred dollars if for all you Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans that deluxe suitcase pack with all the turtles and 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 all the all the pieces and parts and all any anyway that's a two hundred dollar item if you're into if you got two hundred dollars to spend and you're a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan all the more power to you go get that thing because it, it looks awesome um but I'm not enough of a fan to drop that kind of money on that so it's not included but these are Companies like Mezco, NECA, Hasbro, and uh, I believe it's Leica that is, is the one that's doing, um, but I think it's being presented by NECA. Anyway, you have the figure for Coraline, uh, which I'd absolutely love to get my hands on. Love uh, the Neil Gaiman story and the stop animation movie uh, from that. A big, huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan as well with that. Uh, that style of, of stylization of, of movies and things like that. I would love to see that type of movie done for Neil Gaiman's uh, Graveyard book as well. Also, there is the uh, Sewer Alien, the uh, Mezco Deadpool um, that I included. And, of course, I had one of those speeders uh, as a kid. Um, I would love to actually have another one of those those uh, uh, lion speeders that... Uh, Luke Skywalker uh, is uh, riding around in the very first movie as well. Kind of some nostalgia there for Star Wars between the uh, the Leia and R two D two pop and the speeder with uh, uh, Luke Skywalker. But those are the things that I am looking to get my hands on, uh, and and very much looking forward to seeing uh, come out. And uh, like I said, we probably won't know where they wind up until Thursday. Uh, anyway or late Wednesday uh, where these things are going to wind up I if you guys have anything that you want me to keep a lookout for please let me know I am more than happy to try to pick something up for uh, the folks that uh, are willing to trade with me and and maybe I can come across some things that you're looking for uh, that uh, you can't find in your area because you don't have any of those stores or vice versa if something drops in your area and I can't get it uh, maybe I'll be able to pick up something that you were looking for. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, the uh, my wish list from SDCC. And uh, if you did, hit like. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos. Feel free to leave any feedback and comments down below. And thank you for watching.